With this lesson now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our ballad song that we learnt earlier and we're going to start adding some things to it. Let's take a look at the song and break it down a little bit first. As we can see, it's made up its eight bars long altogether. So if we divide that into two four-bar phrases, you can see that each phrase returns to the G chord again. So it's a nice looping song. The first phrase returns to G, and then the second phrase returns to G again. So what we're going to do is on the fourth bar of these four-bar phrases, we're going to try and do something just a little bit different, just to enhance it just a wee bit. Something that's very basic. One of the things that we do at Fingers of Fire Guitar School is try to give you the most basic sorts of little changes that we can do with our left and right hands, and they have the maximum effect. And this is the first one. So let's look. We've got one bar of G with the ballad strum, one bar of D with the ballad strum, and then two bars of A minor with the ballad strum. Let's say if we took the second bar of A minor and we, we used the build up strum to build it up back to the G chord again. We could try and do that and see what it does. Let's try it now. So the first bar is the ballad strum, second bar ballad, third bar ballad, we'll try the build up. Hear how nicely it came back to the G? It just added a little bit more tension and a little bit more oomph to it there. You wouldn't do it every time if you were playing the song with the vocals and that, but just perhaps during the chorus or on the build up to the chorus where the drums are hammering away a wee bit, you might add that build up strum there. And that's the idea. So that was very, very basic. All we did was change our strum with the right hand. Nothing fancy with the left hand and nothing particularly tricky with the right. Just a bit of really good change. So what we'll do now is again on the second four bar phrase it goes from G to D and then two bars of C so on the second bar of C we'll apply the build up strum again there and we'll just see what it does let's try it now I'll play through the whole thing adding the build up strum at the end of the second bar of A minor and also the second bar of C one two three four just added a bit more tension and just made what would otherwise be a monotonous sort of a strum just a little bit better. With our build up strum that we just used in our last song there, we can add another dimension to it as well. And as you can see on the screen and also on your, in your book, there's a long line that starts off skinny and the two lines diverge. That's called a crescendo. What a crescendo is, is an increase in volume. It's a nice slow gentle increase in volume. There's two ways we use to achieve that on the guitar with our pick and with the build up strum. The first way is where we start off lightly hitting the strings and then hit them louder. Now we know that's easy to do, we can just quite easily do the strings lightly or do them loud. The trick is of course getting it so it's a nice gentle increase. Like that there. That's one technique. The other technique which we use in the build up strum for increasing the volume is by starting off hitting only one string or two strings and then increasing it slowly. So if we just have a careful look here we can see we're on an A minor chord here. We'll start off just hitting just there and then just slowly increasing the amount of strings. And you can see by the end of it there we're hitting all the strings. That's called a crescendo and we should be using that as part of our build up strum as well. So we'll just try it again. So if we do the G ballad strum, D with the ballad strum, first bar of A minor, ballad, and then with the second A minor there, you can see I used both techniques together, hitting the strings harder and also starting off just hitting one or two and then increasing it there. That's called right hand technique. It'll take a bit of work to get it mastered but it's well worth the effort. Let's learn one more song now to finish this lesson with. It's an old 60s song by a band called The Animals. It was a pretty big hit in its time and it's still very popular today. I've rearranged it a little bit here so we can play it easily and it uses all the chords that we've learned to date. For your strumming for it, I'd expect that you'd like to do either the standard strum, the classic strum or the ballad strum. They all sound pretty good with it. 
And let's have a quick look at the chords for it now. We've got an A minor chord, a C chord, a D chord, an F chord. You're going to find the F tricky, but persevere with it. Then we've got A minor, C, and two bars of E. So one note on the changing, with the A minor chord to the C, it's a nice easy change because all you have to do is move the third finger from there to there. There couldn't be a chord change easier than that. So don't go playing the A minor, lifting the whole hand off and putting it down onto the C. Just play the A minor and move the third finger only. Anyway, I'll play it for you now, nice and slowly, and I won't count, but I'll count in of course, and I'll use the classic strum. One, two, three, four. As you can hear, it's a lovely sounding song.